Hey guys, I'm just gonna record a quick tutorial on my workflow in TV Paint, setting up a custom panel uh, and my keybinds. Uh, I have a, my keyboard recording here. You can see what keys I'm pressing when they highlight in orange, just so it's clear. Um, cool, so the first thing is uh, go to custom panels, new custom panel, then you can right click it and uh, this panel rename. I'm just gonna call it dog. Um, so this is your custom panel, you can call it whatever you want. Then have a, have a tool selected, uh, right click and grab current tool and do that twice. Then right click again and go down to add horizontal separator. So you have two tools here. Uh, this is the basic setup. I'm going to right click one of the tools again, edit, and I'm going to call it brush. And I'm going to give it um, under icon, I'm going to give it like a yellow X just so it's clear. I'm going to right click the other one. I'm going to call it eraser and I'm going to give it like a blue eraser icon. So it's a little bit cluttered with the name. So I'm going to right click the top of the panel, go to this panel and show icon only. So they don't show the names. Cool. So this is the setup. Um, now I'm going to go control K and I'm going to search the name here of my custom panel dog. Um, you know, search whatever your panel's name is. And as you can see, I have brush and eraser here. They show up because these are ones I've given names to. If you have more tools on here and they don't have names, they're not going to show up. So uh, for brush, for the brush key, I always use V just because it's near where my hand is. So I'm going to click V and I'm going to hit assign. So now it's assigned this tool to my V key. Do the same for eraser and E. I'm going to hit the E key and assign. So now this tool is set to V and this one is set to E. Now you probably have like some brushes that you have that you want to use. Um, so I'd grab whatever brushes you have like this one uh, and grab current tool with colors. I use, you can also grab current tool without the colors, but if you grab with colors, it's always going to use the color you selected when you grabbed it. Um, so yeah, you might have a bunch of different tools like this. Um, cool. And they're all here. The icon's a little hard to see, but you, you get the idea. So how I use this uh, setup is uh, whenever I'm in a scene that requires me to say, use this brush for some reason, uh, I will right click on the key that's set to V and I will say grab current tool. Uh, make sure replace icon isn't selected. So grab current tool. And then I'll go down here. I'll go to color and erase. Set the color to, or set the mode to erase and I'll grab current tool for the eraser as well. Uh, what that has done is that when I press the V key, I'm using this. When I press the E key, I'm using this same brush, but it's an eraser. Say I switch to a different scene. I'm now, I need to use this brush. So again, right click, grab current tool, erase, grab current tool. So now when I press the V key, it's this tool and erasing is this tool. Why do I set this to erase? Because usually if you're cleaning up or something and you have a very textured brush, you want to erase with the brush of the same texture. You don't want to erase with, uh, say, this kind of a brush, the default, if you're using this brush as a texture. Um, and yeah, that's basically the setup. Um, so I really like having it like this so I don't have to switch around the keys that I'm ever using to draw and erase all the time. Um, I use WASD for going up and down and side to side in layers and the V and E key are just like right there. I'm used to them now. You can use whatever keys you want. So that's basically how I use this setup. Um, when I'm switching between scenes, I just switch whatever brush is assigned to this yellow or blue button, the V or E key. Again, they can be whatever keys you want. You can basically keep expanding on this one panel if you want and just add all of your tools here. And as long as it's under the separator line, you can like minus or plus it if you want to clean up your workspace. So say for example, if I'm cleaning up this dog, for some of the lines, I need to use a 10. For some parts, like the eye, I need to use a 5. And for some things, I need to use a 1. So I need all these individual brush sizes for this project. So how's that going to work? It's going to be really annoying to switch between them all the time. So what I would do, I would grab my the 10, size 10 brush, I would right click, grab current tool with colors and do the same with five and for one. So now I have the three brushes here. And I'm just going to change my background color so it's clear what I do here. So real quick, I'm going to go to my text editor. I'm going to 
put in a 10, set it to white, it's set to word. And I'm going to use my mouse actually to stamp these 10, 5, and 1. Then I'm going to go up to my cutting tool rectangle. I'm going to cut this 10 out and it's a stamp right now. I'm going to go to the 10 brush here, right click, edit, and under icon, I'm going to click tool. And now it's just use the tool I had selected as the icon. And I'm going to do the same for 5 and 1. So now it looks a little bit janky, but at least it's clear, like 10, 5, 1. So this one is size 10, this one is size 5, this one is size 1. So really quickly, some other keybinds that are really useful that I use all the time that I'm going to go through. So if you go Control K again, if you search for clear, it's under layer and it's just called clear. Uh, I have this assigned to Q uh, and it just clears like whatever, whatever you have on this instance here. So I click Q and it's gone. Uh, if you're in the middle of an instance, it also like uh, it creates a new instance. So even if there's nothing there, you hit Q, it's going to create a new a new instance. Uh, it's just a very handy one. I find for I use it for clearing uh, all the time. Another one is so moving around layers. Uh, it's quite important, especially in files where you have a lot of layers. I use a uh, WASD to go up, down, and left and right uh, on your timeline. Uh, Previous, go to there, and it's called previous layer. That's set to W. S is set to next layer. The A is set to exposure. Go to previous instance. So again, you can search this. And my D is set to layer exposure. Go to next instance. So what this does is by using WASD, I go up and down layers or left to right on instances. Uh, so you can see it hops to, for example, on this layer here, it'll hop between the front and end of drawings and not just frames. Uh, I have C as like the cut brush as well, which is useful for, um, you know, say you have a, a character uh, at UC, which is set up as this cutting tool freehand set to cut. Uh, to like, you know, you can cut and like rotate stuff. Um, I have G key set to brush rotate and H to brush resize. Um, this is like very useful in the rough stage using uh, C to cut an arm, G to rotate it, uh, H to resize it. Uh, they're wings now, um, you know. It's super handy. Uh, also just to cut out the whole character, move them around, uh, make two of them. Um, yeah. I hope that was clear. Uh, just ask uh, me, I guess, uh, if you have any questions. And yeah, that's it. Bye.